Little but mighty! Hola, hola, hello. English has been boring for many languages for many years. Language contact happens when speakers of different languages interact and influence each other. Let's take a look at some loan words from other languages such as Spanish, Italian, French, German, and also Chinese. Let's take a look at two loan words from the French language. A la carte literally means according to the menu card. The word carte means the menu card. It refers to the food dish individually ordered rather than part of a set meal. Say, if you like to order just a hamburger at McDonald's, you would order it as an a la carte. The second loan word from French is entrepreneur. Entrepreneur refers to a person who starts a business or is a businessman. For example, Jeff Bezos is one of the most famous entrepreneurs. He founded a company called Amazon and is one of the richest person in the whole world. There are so many words in English that originated from the Italian language. Food terms such as pasta, pizza, cappuccino, and also salami. Musical terms such as piano, concert, and also opera. Let's take a look at two loan words from the German language. Doppelganger refers to double goer. It refers to someone who looks exactly like you but not related to you. In old folklores, one believes that saying your doppelganger is a sign of bad luck or bad omen. It's a sign of one's imminent death. The word kindergarten literally means the children's garden. It refers to a school children go to before primary school. Now, let's take a look at two loan words from the Spanish language. The word macho refers to someone who is strong and also masculine. The man in the gym is very macho. He has big muscles and is able to lift heavy objects. The word plaza literally means a place. It refers to a public square or an open space. For example, the plaza in Madrid is very lively in the evening, when the cafes by the pavements are full with people. Finally, let's take a look at two loanwords from the Chinese language. Chop chop, let's go! You've probably heard or used it before when you are rushing and don't want to be late. It means hurry or quickly. It suggests that something needs to be done now and without any delay. Ketchup sounds very American, right? It's the classic sauce that we put on our hamburgers, hot dogs and also french fries. It is, however, not an English word. The word ketchup apparently comes from the Chinese jie shi, the brine of pickled fish. So, ketchup is made out of a thin soy sauce from a fermented fish. The British liked it so much when they came to Asia that they brought it back to England and experimented with other ingredients. Tomato-based ketchup is the most common one nowadays. I hope you have learned more about the origins of some English words and I'll see you next time. Bye! If you have been enjoying our content, do like and subscribe.